Tonight, we begin tonight with breaking news. One person is dead after an accident at DeSoto Falls State Park in DeKalb County. The coroner told us a 40-year-old man jumped off the falls but did not survive. I'm Dan Schaefer. Naja Sherman is off tonight. Way 31's Cody Fisher is at the park. Just hours after that call came in, he joins us now over the phone. Cody, what have you learned? Dan, just within the last hour or so, a spokesman for DeSoto State Park told me that the man uh, was cliff jumping at, at the park and uh, hit rocks at the bottom. Uh, it was it's over a hundred feet to the bottom from the top of the falls. And you, if you, I, we don't have enough uh, cell signal out here to feedback video, but I'm going to paint a picture with some words. And if you just kind of walk down to the right of the waterfall, there's this little area where the guardrail sort of ends. And I was told that that is where the man uh, was cliff jumping from. And this is the first uh, death that has happened here because of cliff jumping in three years. But the, 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 park, spokes, the, the park spokesman told me that they do have uh, people cliff jumping semi-frequently. Some people get hurt, some people don't. But there are guardrails throughout the entirety uh, of the area surrounding the waterfalls with signs that clearly say, do not go over this this railing do not jump from the cliff so there were warning signs uh, for this man and uh, i'm still trying to gather some more information from people who might have been here when it happened uh, but we do know that the rescue squad was out here for several hours this happened around 11 15 this morning and they were out here for several hours and right now they aren't releasing the name of the man who was cliff jumping uh, because they're still notifying all members of his family. That's what we know right now. I'm going to continue to gather some information. And I'll update you tonight at 10. Reporting in uh, DeKalb County, Cody Fisher, Way 31 News.